Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out paint on face masks. If you enjoy watching me try new products and you haven't had time to hit the subscribe button, make sure you just click it to stay updated with future videos. The product I'm testing out today is from Be and Soap and it's the Coloring Paints Pack. I received this in the mail a few days ago and I was super confused when I opened it because I literally thought it was paint and I was like why did I get sent paint but it's actually face paint masks so each tube contains a different color and different ingredients for different skin concerns. The white paint is moisturizing and brightening, it contains hyaluronic acid and goat's milk so it's great for drier skins. The yellow mask adds nutrition and conditions the skin. It contains chia seed extract, aloe vera leaf juice, and witch hazel leaf extract. The green paint soothes and relaxes irritated skin. It contains seaweed complex, mineral water, and chamomile extract. The red tube is great for tired skin. It contains goji berry extract and rosehip oil, and it helps to revitalize the skin. Finally, the black cleanses and absorbs oil. It contains charcoal powder, cacao fruit powder, and brown algae. This is great for those of you who have large pores and oily skin. I love this idea. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but a lot of brands have been getting onto the multi-masking bandwagon. They've been encouraging customers to use multiple masks on different parts of their skin because we all know like we're not all one skin type all around. Some of us have oily T-zones, dry cheeks, or like problematic areas. So multi-masking is a great way to treat the skin. Be and Soap has definitely taken multi-masking to a whole nother level and they've introduced it as face paint masks, which I think is super fun and creative. It kind of brings me back into those school days where I used to like sit there in art class and paint and draw for hours. Art was my favorite subject, so I'm pretty excited to like relive those days and use something that's actually good for my skin. Now if you look at the packaging, it's super cute. It literally looks like a paint pack. Up top we have the little trays that you can squeeze the paint into. And it also comes with a paintbrush. So what I'm going to do is squeeze a little bit of each mask into the tray. I wonder if that actually smells like paint. No, it doesn't smell like paint. It kind of smells like my laundry detergent. Smells nice. Okay, so now all the paints are in the tray and I can start painting my face. I'm gonna start off with the white paint first. So I'm just going to apply this one pretty much like all over because it's got moisturizing properties. With these masks, you don't actually have to leave it on for very long. It's only like 10 minutes. I feel like this is the moment I should go wild and let my creativity shine. I feel like maybe we should do a design. What do you guys think? You know how clown contouring was really in? Maybe we can all start clown masking. Does that sound stupid? I don't know, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, so I'm done applying the white mask. It feels actually really nice and soothing on the skin. It doesn't sting or anything. I'm gonna go on to the red color. The red one is revitalizing, so I'm gonna do it around my lips because I feel like clowns have red lips. Oh my God, I look crazy. I've just taken the Kylie Jenner challenge to a whole another level. Look how big my lips look. I'm gonna grab some of that red and mix it with the white. I'm gonna apply that to my cheeks. Oh yeah, that is hot. Oh, I totally forgot about my red nose. Clowns always have red noses. I look really scary. You know what? I'm actually pretty scared of clowns. I don't even know why I decided to do a clown in the first place. Just thought, you know, clown contouring, mask contouring, maybe it could be a thing, but it's starting to look a bit scary now. I'm going to apply a bit of black around my nose. So we'll just like outline it. And then around my chin. Oh, 
Oh, I'm starting to look so scary now. Next, I'm gonna go in with green. I think I'll just apply green to my forehead. And finally, some yellow. So I think I'm pretty much done with the face paint. What do you guys think? Do you guys like my masterpiece? You know what I look like? I look like, you know, those, um, those games when you go to the theme parks and you have to put like the ball into the clown's mouth, like. <laughs> I totally look like one of those. And you know what? At first when I was painting my face, I was like, uh oh, I'm starting to look a bit creepy, scary, like these scary clowns. But then after I added the bright colors in, it started to look better, but it still looks like a two-year-old painted this on. I'm sure a lot of you guys can do better, but I'm gonna give myself A for effort. Anyways, I'm going to leave this mask on for about 10 minutes and then wash it off with lukewarm water and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I removed the creepy clown face paint off my skin. My skin is feeling super clean and it feels really fresh. It kind of has that menthol feel. It doesn't burn or anything, it doesn't sting, it doesn't feel tight. It just feels like I've washed my face like three times and I've exfoliated and everything. It just feels kind of like, like I had a facial, but not one of those crazy ones. In regards to like the fun factor, I would rate it a 10 out of 10. It's definitely fun and creative to play with. In terms of like the skincare itself and the mask, I think I'm gonna rate it a seven out of 10. I don't think it's like the best quality mask out there. It's definitely more like a gimmicky kind of product. It won't like completely change your skin. You don't see like dramatic results. It kind of just feels like you've just cleansed your skin really well. So that's it to this episode of Tina Tries. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.